Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am here to talk to you about some Sucre Belle fragrances. So yesterday we talked about Devona, and today we're going to be talking about the company that owns Devona, which is called Sucre Belle. I have spoken about them on my channel before, and what is super funny is the last time I did a Sucre Belle video, I was wearing the same. So this is my Harry Potter t-shirt, and it's funny because um, I was wearing the same t-shirt the last time I I filmed a Sucre Bell video so there must be something about it it was just a coincidence I totally didn't plan it but um, anyways well, I have got eight different fragrances here from Sucre Bell to share with you and I absolutely adore this house they are this is an indie house they make the most beautiful unique fragrances oftentimes there are stories that accompany them they always have super cute, like witty, um, funny names, and the notes that they combine are just so unique and so beautiful. So I will, uh, again, link everything down below. The cool thing about Sucre Belle is you can get a small dram of their fragrances um, all the way up to like a one ounce bottle. So depending on um, how you want to experience it, if you want more of an oil, if you want more of a traditional spray perfume, um, you can get all of those things. You can definitely very easily get uh, sample sizes and they just have a very, very prolific uh, scent catalog so there's definitely something for everyone in here and I just have kind of a mishmash of eight different fragrances to share with you and I'm super excited to share them with you um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in the first one is called I come from a long line of terrifying women <laughs> this is very cute I've just got drams here and um, that's typically when I get Sucre Belle. They did send these over, but I've ordered them myself, and I typically order these little drams of oil. Uh, these oils last so long on the skin, and they're just, they're awesome. Oh, okay. This is beautiful. So, I come from a long line of terrifying women. This is a swirl of rosewood, whiskey and amber with a sprinkle of gunpowder, a drop of guyac wood, and tobacco absolute. It's gorgeous. There's nothing, it's so well blended, there's nothing that's like super standing out or that is overpowering the fragrance in any way. It's just a gorgeous blend of all of those things. So again, that is called I Come From a li Long Line of Terrifying Women. The next one, and another thing about these fragrances, guys, is these are the types of fragrances that are going to bring you pure joy. They're going to bring you happiness. They're going to make you feel good inside. They, not only the perfumes, but just everything about them. These are fragrances that I truly feel like, because I remember when, when my first order from Sucre Belle when I received it. It came with a sticker in the box that said we love you. There was it was packed beautifully. It's there's just so much care put into it that you can feel the love that comes along with it. And and I'm not even kidding about that. Like you can literally feel the love and the good energy and the good vibes that come along with your fragrances and they will bring you pure happiness and joy and so I highly recommend that everybody get on there and find something that speaks to you and just order it because the experience of getting the fragrance alone is going to bring you as much joy as the fragrance so moving right along the next one that I have to share with you is called potion and potion is Tahitian vanilla cedarwood old books lemon balm juicy juniper berry fresh rosemary, sweet ba basil, balsam peru, and bergamot. And this is a gorgeous, very, very citrus heavy. It's like an aromatic citrus is what it is. It's an aromatic ci citrus. It's very, very herbal smelling. And the most prominent note in here is the lemon balm. So this is a... Uh, the best way I can describe it, again, is a very aromatic lemon perfume. <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So again, that is Potion. 
Okay, the next one that I have to share with you is probably my favorite in the eight that I got, and this is called Beekeeper's Daughter. And these also have the most beautiful um, artwork on them. So again, that is called Beekeeper's Daughter. And this is a stunner. This is pure honeycomb freshly harvested from the hive, a blooming herb garden full of clary sage, fennel, and thyme, peach blossoms, and a touch of medicinal camphor. And it's beautiful. Ugh. And it really is a very slight touch of camphor. But you've got the beautiful sweetness of the fresh honeycomb. Ugh, the herbs. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. So again, that was probably what it's probably my favorite of the the eight that I got. And again, it is called the Beekeeper's Daughter, or just Beekeeper's Daughter. Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is called Victoriana, and this is gorgeous. This has um, what I believe is Westminster Abbey on the front. Very, very British looking, very, very beautiful. I think that's Westminster Abbey right there. Really, really stunning artwork. Okay, Victoriana is deceptively delicious bergamot black tea, fresh milk, honey straight from the hive, a perfect tea biscuit, freshly grated ginger, and nutmeg. And you really get the ginger and the nutmeg right away. But it's creamy. It's like in a creamy base. Oh, you can smell the black tea and the milk. These are gorgeous. And these are also fragrances. These are some of the only fragrances that smell exactly like they do in the bottle when you put them on your skin. Now what your chemistry kind of does with them after that obviously will be different for all of us, but when you very first apply it to your skin for like the first, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, it's gonna smell exactly like what it smells like in the bottle. Ugh, this one is stunning. This is probably my second favorite. It's just beautiful, Ugh, just beautiful. Okay, the next one I have to talk about is called Cunning Minx, and this is a super fun label. I hope my camera will pick it up. Really, really fun label. Really, really pretty. Okay, so Cunning Minx is black sheets and a mess in the late afternoon sun, a cup of steaming tea from Tibet with milk and a dash of wormwood, pink peppercorn, and Egyptian musk and it's beautiful. And the Egyptian musk is what I smell the most. This is a beautiful, fresh, slightly sweet, skin-like fragrance. Ah, oh, this is so, so good. Oh my goodness. And it is, it's like a your skin but better smell. It's slightly sweet musky, beautiful. You can get the tea a little bit. Or I should say a little bit of the tea. Ah, just really, really beautiful. This is another one, guys. In the eight that I have to share with you today, I you could get any single one of them and they will be stunning. The only one that I think not everybody will maybe like is the Potion, and that's only because it is very, very aromatic. Um, it's got a lot of herbs going on. It's got a lot of citrus going on. So if you're not into citruses, or if you're not into herbal type fragrances, this is the only one I would say maybe uh, stay away from or definitely get a sample of first. But any of the other ones I feel like are super safe and you could very easily blend by them and you would be very happy with them. So again, that one is called Cunning Minx and it's so beautiful. Okay, the next one we have to talk about is called Shark Punch. And this is a... Um, 
This is a gorgeous aquatic fragrance, and I'm not usually a fan of aquatic fragrances, but this one is so real smelling and so beautiful, and the notes blend so beautifully together. So this is driftwood, sea spray, beach grass, vetiver, lemongrass, and clary sage. You get a lot of the lemongrass. Oh, but it's fresh and beautiful. It's got those sea notes in it. There's a little bit of woodiness. There's a little bit of saltiness. You get the freshness from the clary sage, which I have come to realize I am obsessed with clary sage in fragrance. I am obsessed with it. Anytime a fragrance has clary sage in it, I know I'm a goner. I'm going to love it. And this is stunning. This is fresh and beautiful and crisp and a little bit sweet and slightly aquatic smelling and very, very true to life smelling. Uh, that is Shark Punch. Okay, the next one we have to talk about is called Dew South. Okay, so Dew South is red hot sands, exotic spices weave through petals of black jasmine, dragon's blood, and ocean spray. And this one really does smell like baking hot stones or something, but it's sweet, beautiful, beautiful, subdued spices. They're not, it's not like punch you in your face spicy. It's gorgeous, soft, and a little bit sweetened spice. It's as if you had like a spice cake it's beautiful. This one's hard to describe because it's got that, um, when they say like the red hot sands, it's like you can imagine it in your head. It's just beautiful. But uh, for you, those of you that love spicy perfumes or love anything that smells like a sweet spice cake or something like that, Do South would definitely be a good choice for you. Okay, and then the last one I have to talk about is called Cup of Ambition. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is the best true-to-life coffee fragrance I have ever smelled and ever put on my skin in my life. This, if you are looking for a true coffee fragrance, this is it. This smells like the most beautiful cup of coffee and it continues to smell like that when you put it on your skin and it lasts for ages. So I know that a lot of us, when we um, see coffee as a note in perfumes, such as uh, YSL Black Opium, we see coffee as a note and we're like, yay, it's gonna smell like coffee. And then it doesn't smell like coffee, number one, or the coffee is like an afterthought. It's very um, weak smelling. You really aren't getting a lot of the coffee. So I will tell you, with Cup of Ambition, you are getting nothing but beautiful, true, sweet coffee. And it's so good. So this is Sticky Marshmallow, Three Kinds of Coffee, and No Limits. <laughs> um, beautiful. Uh, if you guys are looking for a beautiful coffee perfume, look no further. This is it. Marshmallow and coffee. I mean, what more could you ask for? It is so good. Oh, I love it so much. So anyways, guys, those are eight new fragrances to my collection from Sucrevel. I am so happy that I got to share them with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.